Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. This series is related to tree data structure. If you are trying to learn data structures, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update on the videos we post. In the last video, we learned about expression trees and Zor trees. Today, we will learn about AVL trees. So, let's get started. Before learning the AVL trees, let's first understand what is the need for it. We know that a time complexity of BST is best when it is in height balanced BST. If the tree becomes Q, the time complexity becomes O of n. So what is the balance factor? The balance factor is the absolute difference between the height of left and right subtree. And for a balance tree, the balance factor is either 0 or 1 but not more than that. In this example, the balance factor for node 10 is 0 as it has no right or left. Balance factor for node 20 is 1 as it has a left node but no right node present. While the balance factor for node 30 is 2 as the height of its left subtree is 2 and that of its right is 0. Because of this, we can say that this tree is not a height balance binary tree. Now, if we look at the tree here, the balance factor of all the three nodes is 0. Thus, this is a height balanced binary tree. Given the same node values, the tree would be changed if the order of the nodes is changed. Thus, choosing the right root is important to create a height balanced binary tree. This drawback of binary tree gives rise to the concept of AVL tree. AVL tree is balanced binary tree. In this, we perform rotations on node if the insertion or deletion of a node causes an imbalance in the binary tree. The structure of the AVL node has an additional value, height, that helps us in evaluating the balance factor. Taking these three nodes, here is the BST that will be created. If we change the order, this gets created, or this one, or this one. All these are not balanced binary tree that we wanted. Here, we can see that if we had just these two nodes, the tree was balanced. But the addition of the third node creates an imbalance. If we try to see the order of insertions made, the first one was inserting in left of left, second is inserting right of left, and so on. So, the rotations will be performed on the basis of these itself. The first is LL rotation, second is LR, third is RL and fourth is RR rotation. LL and RR are single rotations, but LR and RL are double rotations. Now, let's learn each rotation in detail. Let's take this one and try to see how to perform the rotation. Imagine you fix a nail here and try to pull the string in this direction. So, 30 goes down in the right and this becomes our rotated binary tree. This was just three nodes. Now let's see how it works in a big tree. Let's take this tree and imagine that the imbalance occurs when we add in the left of left. The most important thing to remember in an AVL rotation is that a rotation is always performed on only three nodes. So let's just focus on the three nodes and perform the rotation. We need to rotate the tree in the shown direction. So, the three nodes will get rotated in this way. Now, let's add the remaining child tree nodes. The left and right of C remains as is, while the right of A stays in the right of A, and the right of B goes in the left of A as it is smaller than A but greater than B. Now, let's move on to RR rotation. Again, let's fix a nail and try to pull the string, but this time in other direction. So, the node gets rotated and the tree gets balanced. Now let's see the same in a bigger tree. Consider this tree and here the imbalance occurs at A after inserting at right of right. So we take these three nodes into consideration and fix a nail here and pull the string towards left. The three nodes get rotated as this. If we take a look at the other nodes, the left of A and the right of C stays in the left and right of the nodes as is. While the left of B goes in the right of A and the left of C also stays in C's left. This was all about the single rotations. Now let's see the double rotations. 
For this type of tree, we first try to change it to one of the single rotations and then try to apply LL or RR rotations. For LR, we first fix the nail here and pull the nodes in left to change it to LL type of rotation. Now that we have this tree, we will perform the LL rotation by fixing the nail here and pulling it right. So, this becomes our final balance tree. If we see carefully, the double rotation attaches the right node to the root and then the root becomes the right of the newly attached node. Let's take this bigger tree. Here, we need to focus on ABC which makes this LR rotation. So, C goes to root and A goes to right of root. Left of B and right of A goes in the respective positions, while the left of C goes in the right of B and the right of C goes in the left of A. Now let's see RL rotation. So we first fix a nail here and rotate these nodes to convert it to RR rotation which gives us this tree. Then we shift the nail here and rotate left which will give us our balance tree. If we just look at the effect of the two rotations, the left node goes to the root and the root goes to the left of newly attached root. If we see this in the bigger tree, we need to take the three nodes on which we will perform the rotation. As the imbalance occurs on adding on the left of right node, we take these three into consideration. After applying rotation, here is the position of the three nodes. Now let's attach their children. The right of B and left of A stays in its respective places, while the left of C goes to the right of A because it is smaller than root and greater than A. And the right of C goes to left of B as it is greater than C but smaller than B. This brings us to the end of all the rotation techniques in AVL tree. Even though the AVL tree solves the problem of binary search tree, it still requires a lot of rotation if the tree becomes imbalanced. Similar to AVL tree are red black tree. Some other types of trees are splay trees, B trees, augmented trees, segment trees and many more. We will not be covering these in the series now as most of the questions that you might be getting will mainly be focused on binary tree and binary search trees only. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what topic you want to learn next. See you in the next series with another great topic. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this with your friends.